I'm a bourbon drinker. Um, that's that's probably my favorite spirit to go to, uh, and I like bourbon um, because of the richness and uh, the flavors that it pulls out of the charred, caramelized wood. And so, if you think about um, beers like stout and products like maple syrup, these are all things that are really caramely and chocolatey and smooth and creamy and have notes of vanilla and wood and nut. And uh, I get a, all of that in this bourbon. Um, it's not too much of one thing or the or the other. To me, it's very much uh, a beverage of harmony. And today we are uh, bottling a uh, bourbon. It's a bourbon that's been finished in stout barrels from Shorts Brewery. And uh, just a short tasting note about this. this. This whiskey made from a high rye bourbon it has the spiciness of that bourbon. It's got a really nice caramel, a bit of vanilla note to it. But the thing that really sets this thing off is that, that little bit of stout flavor in there and the creaminess um, of a mouth, mouth feel that that gives the, uh, the, the uh, bourbon that we're making the bottle today. This project that we've worked on together has involved a lot of other things like like this, this really great maple syrup. So like, this maple syrup starts. Which is distilled sap. Yes. Right? Yes. This is actually, we, we get this maple syrup from a local, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Bush? Yeah, sugar bush. Ma yeah. Maple, yeah. maple syrup farm. Yeah, we farm. get it from a maple syrup farm from a sugar bush. And it's called the Griner family. They've been in business for five generations. We take this really, really good maple syrup and we put it in a bourbon barrel, a freshly emptied bourbon barrel. And then from there, you take it out and you bottle it, and you've got this nice tasting Absolutely maple it's bourbon, fantastic. maple syrup. Yeah. And then with the empty barrel that just had maple syrup in it, you put whiskey back in there. Yeah, a really nice um, high rye bourbon that goes into there for, for six to eight months. And then so you bottle that back up, and now you've got bourbon that so tastes a little here. bit with uh, maple syrup oh, in yeah, it. Yeah, delicious. And then when that barrel's emptied, it just had syrup, just had whiskey in it for bourbon. And then now what is it? And then that's when shorts comes into play. <laughs> we say, hey, we got a beer that would fit great in there. It's called Super Delicious Stout, and it's been something we've been working on anyway. So your timing is impeccable. Let's put this stout <laughs> in this freshly emptied barrel that used to have bourbon and maple syrup and bourbon maple syrup. And now let's put some beer in there. And so we let that beer hang out in that barrel for I think six or seven or eight or nine months. Then we emptied all the beer out and put it in a bottle. So now you've got stout with bourbon and maple, maple syrup flavored bourbon uh, <laughs> all in one package. Now you've emptied the bourbon barrel again. They used to have maple syrup, maple syrup bourbon, maple syrup bourbon barrel beer. Told and, you this was complicated. And now <laughs> you've added more bourbon back. So we've got beer flavored, or, sorry, stout beer flavored, maple syrup flavored, and bourbon flavored whiskey. At the final result, right? Well, it's final now. So at this point, yeah. up to today, yeah, this is the product. This is, we do a collaboration like this. Um, and part of the reason you get into any any business or any type of endeavor is, is to have the relationships that you can develop over time. And a uh, collaboration like this. Um, brings people together um, that are have similar interests and um, allows us to make some really cool products and um, it's fun. Yeah, I think um, in the artisan world of, uh, in our industry, the beverage industry, you know, we, we take the things that we're really passionate about and, and have a lot of excitement for and we want to take our excitement and our energy for the products that we make and help other people um, have a positive experience or elevate their, their, their experience in life. So um, with our pub, with our beer, um, the whole hospitality world, the human relationship, uh, the human connection, um, at the end of the day, it all comes down to people. And, um, we feel uh, really honored to be able to contribute to our communities in a way um, through products in the in a rural off-beaten area, we really kind of have to 
have to reach out and, and make these connections because there's just something special. I, we call it the power of the small set shorts. I like that. It's this uh, it's a small group of people that are, are uh, capable of doing great many things. And you do that by connecting, by making connections and having experiences uh, over shared. Well said. In our experience, Cheers. Cheers.